What is up, my Squirtleites? It is I, your king, and today let's have a look at Anthem, shall we? This is a third-person, online, multiplayer-focused, action, kind of role-playing, looter-shooter video game. I know, there's a lot of games like that for as many descriptors as that is. That was released back on February 22nd, 2019, but even more famously was shut down for good on February 24th, 2021. Obviously, the servers are still online, but the game completely ceased development and is no longer being supported by its studio, BioWare. This game is obviously famous for the fact that BioWare developed it. A lot of people criticize the move of putting BioWare on a game like this when its wheelhouse has always been story-focused RPGs, and Anthem is not that. It is instead in the same wheelhouse as something like a Destiny or a Division or a Warframe. And therefore, I mean, it was a bad idea from the start and everyone knew it. And of course, it didn't end up going so well. It only got a little bit of support after launch. You got a couple of things released and added to it. And aside from that, it just kind of went out with a whimper. But I still want to look at it today because these kinds of games interest me. And also because I specifically avoided Anthem uh, from the moment that it released, essentially. I did play the demo that came out before it released. I played about an hour and a half of that but aside from that I haven't touched this game since then and that is due to the simple fact that I personally believe that games like this are way too time consuming I have my game in this genre it's destiny I have been playing destiny for seven years now and every single time a game like this that is trying to tap into that destiny market share comes out whether it be a division or this game or some or borderlands 3 or something like that i specifically avoid them because i know how time consuming these experiences can be but there is always still a base level of content that all of these games have a, a specific like a campaign a specific experience that you can take the time as a solo player to just play for a little bit and enjoy it. And as somebody who only spent $3 on the disc to play this game, I feel like I might as well get my money's worth at some point. So we're going to have a look at it and just see what was wrong with Anthem. Why didn't it do so well? Uh, because when I played the demo, I actually was like more impressed by this game than I ever was by something like The Division or Borderlands 3, or even Warframe for that matter, although I do intend to look at Warframe again at some point on this channel. I haven't play touched that game in about four years, um, and we'll just accept that because uh, user agreement, who cares? I know there's probably something in there like, yeah, you don't, if you stream this game, we will share your IP address with the government or something like that, and no one ever cares, no one ever cares. All right, I think, I think the brightness is fine. Um, I'm going to go up just a little bit, just because that's a little bit better for YouTube. But aside from that, because the darker you have your videos, the more the the more bad the compression looks on your videos on YouTube. So we'll go up just a little bit. Uh, subtitle size, okay, we definitely don't want them small, probably for gameplay reasons. I'm going to keep them large, actually. And then audio to chat assist, I think we're good. All right, let's do this thing. Yeah, this game, like I said, it intrigued me it actually has ideas or had ideas to it that to me were much more interesting than a lot of the other i mean i don't want to call them destiny clones because everyone's quick to point out well warframe did it first yeah well warframe did it first but it also sucked for longer <laughs> and uh <laughs> it uh took a lot longer for it to find its footing granted it does other things well that destiny doesn't do but to me destiny is the leader of this genre it is the by far to this day still the most successful has the biggest following makes the most money has the most well-known studio behind it etc 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 so i'm going to henceforth be comparing this game to that and i think anthem was interesting that's all i'll say it's uh it's third like i said third person but it's also mech focused combat which isn't something you see in western games a lot a dangerous world The gods who built it vanished, leaving behind their instruments that aimlessly reshaped the land. These ancient relics harness an unknowable force we call the Anthem of Creation. But the Anthem refuses to be controlled. To survive, our ancestors invented the Javelins and built cities with great walls. Today, it falls to a dedicated group of heroes to face the chaos, protect our homes, and fight for our very survival. We 
are freelancers. We leap head on into danger, rescuing the lost, keeping the monsters at bay, and silencing the Anthem's terrible cataclysms. But not all cataclysms are created equal. And even freelancers are wary of the untamed power of the Anthem. Cenotaph, and the storm is worse than we thought. Okay, this is as close as we're gonna get to the center without the strider getting ripped to shreds. Let's go, freelancers. Suit up! How crazy will this get? No idea. Never tried to shut down a cataclysm this big. Oh, steady, Faye. None of us come out of this alive without our cipher. Stay safe out there. Yeah. Remember, we're a team. I'm right there with you. Oh. Oh. Okay, Freelancer. You might be new, but you won't be here for the show promise. Hey, Halleck, what's up? Waiting for it to die down out there? Let's go! Uh, I thought you could use a head start. See you at the Cenotaph. We're heading out. Okay, everyone. Let's stop this cataclysm from growing. From killing everything. I don't know, Halleck. I haven't seen uh, anything like this before. Look, everyone. I won't be here if I thought this storm could beat me, right? Oh, the rage is no different than the hundreds of other Shaper ruins we've dealt with. It's just bigger. This is what we do. So we're gonna go in there and we're gonna take on whatever unholy beast that spits at us and we're going to tame that thing together. Let's Hell do yeah. it. Yeah. Ready, Captain One? Ooh, ready. Strong along, stronger together. Rage. You need to get to the center and shut it down by silencing the cenotaph. Got it. All right, here we go. So I'm already immediately. Uh, where do I get a repair pack? I have no idea where to find a repair pack, but I'm just gonna head down this way towards the finger. So. Yeah, I already am, like, much more impressed by this game's, like, presentation compared to most of vanilla experiences. Just because the voice acting and the personality in the characters is good. Alright, so I can double jump. There we go. Okay. Let's head up here. Now we can actually sprint, so that's good. Do I get a gun? I do have a gun. And abilities! Okay. Grenade and something else. I'm coming, I'm coming. Hold on, I think I shoot those. There we go. 
All right, we got to go through. Just trying to make sense of this UI while I'm also moving. Oh, jeez. Hi. Uh, I'm just going to kill that thing. I know it says I can ah, use uh, ultimate ability, but I don't want to. Please die. Thank you. What, what are they hearing exactly? Can I even hit that? I don't know if I can. Let's reload. That's a big guy. Holy cow. Jeez. What was that? And also the game just lagged like a crap ton and made me fall in the lava. All right. I know I'm burning. I don't know how to get rid of that. Can I revive you? Revive you? Yes, I can. Okay. All those are dead. Let's go this way. I'm coming, I'm coming. Just hold some. Ah, jeez. Okay, I didn't know if that holding the repair was going to interrupt my my reload there. Okay, I hit a few of them. I think I needed to get more in frame when I actually shot that. But that was my ultimate ability there. Let's go revive this last freelancer here. There we go. I got you, Freelancer. We are gonna make it spin now. Gonna try. Alright, so now to where do I go? You all just gonna stand there or are we gonna take care of some things? I see some reds down here. Oh yeah, hold on. I'm gonna throw that. Ooh, ooh, that was some good damage. Oh, which way do I go? Oh jeez, high up there! I don't think I can hurt you. I'm burning again. That's not good. I need to stop touching the lava. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Okay, so I can apparently use grenades without hurting myself, so that's nice. Did I make it? I think I'm there. Rookie, there you are. Get in here. Base calling a retreat. We got this. Almost there. Team, you need to retreat. says as he's running okay that cutscene was much more poorly framed I, <laughs> a little awkward there but all right oh look at that thing it's so cute oh i don't want to kill those things i grab it it's adorable i like the locations that we've been in so far it's a good looking game no no doubt During the failed attempt to silence the heart of rage we lost more than freelancers more than friends and comrades we lost the faith of the people we protect. 
So the freelancers scattered, searching for ways to redeem themselves. The few who remained carried on, finding new allies where they could, doing their best to help a people who no longer called the freelancers heroes. Oh, okay. <laughs> that came out of nowhere, but all right. There's those grabbits. Look at they're so cute. Okay, a little, little, a little slightly less cute, but than I thought they were, but eh, still cute. How about the coordinates, Owen? Impressive entrance as usual. Nice to be appreciated. Ah, don't sell yourself short, mate. A cipher couldn't ask for any better partner. You could ask, but not many of us left. The relays are short flights away. Am I allowed to fly now? Or do I just have to jump only? Nope. Oh, there we go. That's interesting. So diving, you get like the wind through you and it actually like cools you off, which is cool. Let's see. Before I do that, what do I got here? I don't know if it does, but I opened it. Okay. Let's go. There's a lot of enemies around here. I can see them down below. Can I actually like... Sh oh, that's a, that's a plant. That's a plant. I don't want to hurt that. We go down, down, down. Ooh, let's not hit. Ow! That was dumb. Sorry, flying this is a little bit tricky. It's cooling me off at least. Yeah, only steer with the right stick. I'm gonna have to get used to that. The left stick doesn't do a whole lot. Okay, just a second. There is an enemy here. No, like a something else. What is this? I saw a red health bar, so I oh, chimeric alloy. All right, well we'll see if we do anything with that. Stick close so I can get a reading on the shaper energy. Hang on, I'm detecting movement. Looks like scorpions. No, not enemies. Ah! Go away, you guys. Yeah, I would like to get a different gun, though. Am I? Uh, will I get different guns? It is a looter, so I expect to. But, okay. It's not that bad. I'm totally fine. Oh, I need to be paying attention to my compass a little better, though. That tells me where everything's at. I got poisoned. Hold on. Come here. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, I will. Just a second. Here, have that. Okay, maybe I actually am taking more damage than I would like. Oh, no, those are my shields, not my health. That makes sense. Whoa, 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 Hold on, we got a glitch here. Holy crap. All right, well, that was good to see. It's mostly normal. Mostly? This is the early warning system. If it's detecting something. Yeah, no sign of shaper energy. Head to the next sensor. So the water is going to cool me off. I figured that was a mechanic. I think I remembered that from the demo. So that's really cool. I do like that. So as long as I stay cooled. Hello, little friends. Do I have to hurt you? No, I don't. Just scatter. You don't have any red dots on you. No sign of scorpions, at least. They're aggressive today. Let's see. If they do appear, I can always use my ultimate. Well, what's that? What's that noise? It's almost scanned. There we go. Not good. Possible shaper energy detected. Get to the next sensor, we can narrow it down. And that is up here. Let's go through that water. There we go. I like the movement in this game. The the shooting's like eh, it's okay. But there's a theory a shaper relic flipped gravity for a day. Uh-huh. Well, like yeah, it looks good and it feels good. Lost sensors nearby. With wyvern circling. I see them. It's okay, they're easy to kill. Gotcha. Yep. Alright, time to drop. Is there any more? No, the music's just going crazy. Everything's in a bad mood today. This could be the nesting 
little long range for me, but I still managed to make that work. Come on. Eh. Eh. Oh, it's so hard to shoot from this distance. There we go. Yeah, the shooting is not the best. It's not terrible, though. I actually still like it more than something like The Division. I could not stand most of that game's mechanics. And I'm sure that game's a lot better when you have multiple people to play with, because it's kind of designed that way. But you still need to have, like, a good base. And this game just has a better one, from what I can tell. Don't get me wrong, it's no Destiny, but... It still... Feels alright to play. Feels different than normal. Okay, we got it. Scanned. What is that? What? Shaper energy off the charts. An unstable relic in the area. The bad one. I've got a probable location on it. We're jumping off the stairs, huh? Here we go. Are we going underwater? Yes, we are. Oh, fun. Whoa. Well, sight seals are holding. Shall I call in more freelancers? No time. We can't risk this getting worse. Hmm. I don't, like I said, this game is pretty, but my gosh, it's still a little dark in here. Maybe I should have cranked that brightness up more. Alrighty. What do we got up here? Oh, hello. Shaker means. We're on the right trail. Looks like an echo lock we need to open. I dealt with these. Look around at the floating lights. They're the echoes. Grab them and bring them to the door. Okay, floating Your lights. Three at a time. Let's see. How do I get more of these? Well, we got this. Oh, here we go. I see it. Okay. Let's go up here. It's kind of hard to grab, though. That's oh, there it. we go. Of energy gone I don't even care that I hit that. There's more of it this way. Oh, I'm trying to, like, undo my flight. Oh, yeah, I can only hold three. Durr. There we go. And now... There's another one. Where's that last one at? I saw it floating around here somewhere. Need to get up a little higher. Over here, possibly. Nope, this is where I grabbed the other one. What the heck? Let's see, maybe over this way? I'm not seeing nothing. What the heck? You would think a glowing light would be easier to see. But so far, maybe it's under the water again? No, that can't be right. Oh my gosh, it was literally like right next to it. I am like actually blind. I cannot believe it. That was the saddest thing I've ever seen. And it was all my doing. This area is really cool. It's very Horizon Zero Dawny. Hold on. I want this. Whatever this is. Here we go. Whoa. Oh, gosh. I don't want to get hit by that. All right. This is fine. Ow. I didn't mean to touch that. Oh, crap. Wait, am I, am I dead? Oh, I can't touch the ground down there? Seriously? Hold on a second. All right, hold on. Let's do this. That was really silly and also did not need to be a kill screen because that's just a huge waste of time. There we go. Stay to the right. Left. There we go. Oh, it wasn't even really a kill screen. It was just kind of a, you go back to where you were at and try that again. What in the world? Alright, I guess we're swimming now. Was there really a point to that? I was going to go down that way anyway. Big one too. You'll need to silence it. Where do I start? Some echoes have shaken loose. Find them and get them back in place. So I need to get more of the glowy things, huh? Well, this is fun gameplay. Apparent oh, I did grab it. I couldn't tell if I did. I, like, flew through it and then nothing happened. 
Hold on, can I fly through this water? Let's see. Yeah, that's what I like to see. All right, on to the shiny thing. Wherever they are. Come here, you. I don't like that the feedback on that is so late. And that's the weirdest thing we've seen in this game so far. <laughs> like, what? And let's drop down here, because apparently there's no fall damage in this game. Don't touch that. Wait, we need to get... I thought I just did. There's more? Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, this is not good gameplay. I can see the problem with this one. Just running around and grabbing things like this. Like, I would at least be okay with it if the game was like... While you're doing this, you're shooting things, but the fact that you're just flying around and doing nothing else... Oh, okay, granted, this is the first mission. I shouldn't be too harsh, but I get it. So it actually looks like there's more than the six set echoes you need to find in the area, which that's good at least. Just kind of grab all the ones you need. All right. Got all three I need. Let's fly out of here. That's getting bigger. All right. What am I shooting? Anything at all? Oh gosh. It didn't hold. I see. It's starting. You've got company. Who do I have company from? Where's the company? Oh hi! Frost elementals, whatever those are. Yes, I'm trying to work it out. Shaper energy still increasing. These are just a warm-up. Those are like boars. Oh gosh, wolves! Ah! I didn't want to do that, I wanted to strafe. Uh, slow down. Can I, how do I slow down the thing? I, I know there's a way to do that. All right, hold on. You need to die. I'll just do it like this then. Screw it. I have the homing missile thing. So let's do that. Oh, I did get it. Okay. That's fun. Where do I, where do I, oh, I could just put it in this thing. Where are you guys at? Hi. I have that. That was not a far enough throw. Okay. Get away from me. Your health bar doesn't decrease at the rate that it should. Oh, jeez. No, oh, come here. Stupid dog. Just sits there. Okay, there is a there is a dodge button. I wasn't paying attention to that. Yeah, let me just shoot some more of these things. Here, have that. That did nothing. Oh, gosh. Come here. Ooh. That melee is very... I don't know how I feel about that, actually. Oh, gosh. Yeah, not the biggest fan. Oh, my gosh. They're dropping so much health, though. I know. I know. I know. I'm working on it. Grab that grenade. There we go. Oh, gosh. All right. Now, if I could just get that... You guys won't stop, will you? Okay. So, this, this is, like, actually, like interesting though the fact that I'm having to fight stuff while I'm running oh gosh I'm working on it you calm down do this yourself sir oh cutscene time okay last one here goes careful anything's possible I know I know you know, I heard a relic made a guy vanish into thin air once and no idea where he went. Which isn't as lucky as the freelancer whose guts were turned inside out. How's that lucky? At least he died and got it over with. This is a pain. They all are. Indecipherable puzzles that only make sense to shakers. No, I mean there's ice jamming it up. <laughs> we're out of time. Silence it. I'm trying to. Well, nobody's up here. It's an R6. It's not working. I'll put it back into it. <laughs> Well, at least now I've got a new story. That time a relic spawned a giant Ursex that almost ate you whole. Yeah, classic for the ages. Right, say that fulfills the contract. Time to get back to Fort Tarsus. To Angel, well done. The only guy there is. I'm on my way.
Hey! A good note to end it on, although I really wanted to fight that thing. Really disappointed they just killed it in the cutscene. Alright, well, consider me slightly intrigued. I think we'll go at least a couple more episodes of this. I want to actually, like, see what this game has to offer before we write it off completely. Um, so, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to be it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Anthem very much. And, uh, well, we get to see our expedition results. So, let's see the splash screen real quick, and then we'll call it. But... Let's see, I got a, a Sage playstyle medal. Apparently I'm a Sage, okay? I know what that means. Got some experience points. All sorts of things. Look at that, up to level 2. Look at all these things. I don't know what any of this means, but an Alliance bonus, I guess. What does that mean? It's just meters and numbers, and they don't mean anything to me, though. A, pilot, a, new, a new javelin unlocked. Four types of selections available to choose from one of the locked, currently locked core javelins. Ranger, Colossus, Storm, and Interceptor. Okay. Interesting. Well, we'll have to take a look at that in the next one. So thank you all so very much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. <laughs>